good girl hit the jackpot me make the million dollar yeah i make the million dollar i made my first million dollar from work and travel hi guys welcome back to my channel at shad's lifestyle if you are new here welcome this is the channel to be a part of and it is where truth meets purpose over here good girl talk about her life experiences tips and tricks of how to live your life a successful life as a young adult and also um lifestyle videos so you will see all of that all my different personality in one channel and you will love it all right so right now do go ahead and like subscribe and comment on this video right now tell me oh now go on tell me if you get the visa tell tell me what go on a jan shop yeah because this video is going to tell you the tea of work and travel the tea because i think that people think that it's taboo to talk about money and i've never ever seen somebody tell i've never ever heard somebody actually tell me how much they make and work and travel but guess who's going to tell you me good girl hit the jackpot me make the million dollar yeah i make the million dollar i made my first million dollar from work and travel so this video is going to tell you how i did it so that you can do it also um firstly i want to say congratulations to all who got through with their visa and you're going to go on the work and travel program also persons who haven't um, been successful you can go ahead and reapply whether it be this semester or the following year or the upcoming year right and there are other opportunities other than work and travel but i have to get out these work and travel videos right so going up on the work and travel program i want you to, to i want you to be realistic right so i already taught you how to get a second job what jobs to look for and just every, every little tip about work and travel so if you haven't watched my previous videos on work and travel stop this video and go ahead and watch them i actually have a playlist here which i'll put a work and travel playlist here so you can watch all my work and travel related videos right and uh, as i say think realistic be realistic right so in my first year i actually made about like four thousand a lie a lie a lie about five thousand to six thousand us dollars in my first year and that was my worst year so you can just imagine so i made four thousand us oh i made six thousand us dollars and that wasn't included in taxes right so i made six thousand us dollars on work and travel um the first year in 2017 and uh, my taxes i think i got like all i think i got an extra six hundred dollars when i did my tax return but remember that your tax return will vary depending on how much money is deducted how much jobs you jobs you had and and, and all of that right okay and with state you are okay so in my second year i made about let's say nine nine thousand so in my second year i made like nine thousand eight to nine thousand dollars and all of this is after after i spend all of the clothes money all of the phone money all of the gadgets money because girl buy all our stuff them not on my first year but on my second year and up i bought my, my phone i bought my laptops i bought everything i need because you know girl will proper excuse you yeah talk to me nice remember that this session this is like a consultant session right so may i give it a tease so what i want from you is to ensure that you are commenting so that persons on you so that youtube can push out my videos because they know a girl they year and girl want little money from youtube but you know said this is her passion also so give me a little give me a little comment and give me a little like 
and just watch the ads them because girl have the little thing them I soon, I soon give her the video of how much money i'm making on youtube yeah but just continue um watching my videos so yeah in my second year i made like eight thousand and then in my third and final year I met me million, yeah. You know, I'm afraid. You know, hello, my work, you know. Me work in my last year. Mr. said the last year, me work right through, right through. Girl work from 4 o'clock in the morning, 4 a.m. to 10, 11 o'clock in the night. All day, every day. One day off, I'm going to say, all right, I'm going to take it. I made about... And I'm not lying, and I don't want to lie. I think almost twelve hundred dollars. Yeah, so I made almost twelve hundred dollars, and this is after paying um, hundred dollars every week um, for rent, after buying all my groceries, after after buying all my groceries, all my groceries, after um, buying my gadgets and buying my clothes and stuff like that. So let me tell you how I did it. Work and travel. I know that it's work and then you travel or you know, it's like an experience thing, but work and travel for me is what? Like right now, I'm still living off work and travel money. I kid you not. I'm still living off work and travel money. That's to show you that Work and travel for me wasn't just, work and travel for me was, I think it was my life. I made it my life in, in that moment because I maximized on it. I don't have any student loan. I started my own business with work and travel. I started investing um, with work and travel money. And people will actually say, um, and I know people who make more money than I did because I think persons, I think someone said they made like, I don't know on my life they said they make fifteen hundred fifteen sorry fifteen thousand US dollars and even now it's it's better because it's corona time everything is online so you can actually stay in the US longer than expected because you know you have the the wave of time you can I normally finish September seventh you can finish you can stop you can stop working long after that because you don't have to return home to go back to school because everything is online so I don't know um but yeah i work 18 15 to 18 hours a day this is what you have to do to ensure that you're making that much money what you can do now is um calculate how much money you need to make right and if you say you want to make ten thousand us dollars right you're going to and ten thousand us dollars um if you want to make that to return home you you, you have to ensure that you put in your rent for the for the four months you make sure you put in estimate your grocery and you make sure you estimate like your 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 laptop money and your phone money and you know your clothes money yeah so you want to put all of that if you want to return with ten thousand jamaican dollars I want me a tab boat, boat into. If you want to return with ten thousand US dollars, you have to add like one well, next five thousand. You have to make fifteen, fifteen thousand US dollars for returning about ten thousand, right? So when you add all of that, so you're going to say, okay, your target is ten thousand US dollars. You're going to divide ten thousand US dollars by four, which is four months. Or if you want to divide it by the weeks, I think work and travel is about 16 weeks. So you divide 10,000 by the 16 weeks. Don't put me on that, go and do your research. Four months, four months, and four, four months, four times four, four fours, 16, right? So 16 work, 16 um, weeks. So you divide 16 weeks by four, $10,000. When you get that estimate amount, which is whatever, um, which is $600 a week. So you need to make at least $600 a week to, to ensure that you are going to make the $10,000. Remember, this is an estimate. So when you, when you do the $600 a week, for me, I was working a week, I was working almost $1,000 a week. So I was making like $850 to $1,000 a week. That's what I was making because I worked 
all those hours and my my first and remember telling that my first year wasn't really good because you know that you have to travel back home and you have to ensure that you have the agency money to return back to work and travel plus you have to ensure that you're paying your school fee but say one at a time you know but hello i first me ever have so much money I say I want to see US panda grown and I take one picture and I say way good girl have money so the next year it gone because I had to pay a lot of stuff right so this money that you're going to have make sure you know what you're using for and that is why most videos that I'm that is coming up is a, is going to be about investment and business related videos so me I will tell you how to start one business and what to do because money need for make and you're going to have a capital and you're going to be you're not going to be an average jamaican right from work and travel you're not going to be an average jamaican because from me go from work and travel i've never been the same i've never it's like it's like i go up one notch i go up one notch it's like girl gone on a different level from work and travel so me i tell you know the things them right so know what you want from work and travel and you have to be realistic because someone say oh you can make fifteen thousand us dollars and yes you can make it but you still have to think about how much hours you're going to put in right so you're going to have one or two jobs or even three jobs but i'm going to tell you that it makes sense you have one job because if you have one job and you're doing all the hours at that job you'll get time and a half so like for me when i was working at walmart after 40 hours i was making um 16 dollars an hour so i wanted overtime rather than going to a next job that is going to pay me 11 or 13 dollars right so you, you want to think about all of this you have to think about your health also for work and travel people are saying how i cope I'm, cope with it and uh, me don't know i think once you go over there something just the jamaican the jamaican just stand up in you and you just say i'm not i'm not i'm not suffer again i'm not suffer again they just work it's like something chippy when they go up and work and travel no man something chippy when they go up and work and travel me i tell you come a work and everybody around me work it's like something chippy in when they go up and work and travel so make sure you will know what you want when you go and work and travel because you can make it on work and travel and you also have to be realistic so you want to make fifteen thousand returning home you have to put in the hours right um and uh, let's say um it's your first year your first year first year is always going to be rough lucky you lucky if it's not rough but first year is always going to be the first year was my roughest year and most time first year is the roughest and sometimes persons don't go back and work and travel because it, it did not work out for them but it's just your first year right when i came back um i think i hardly scraped the six thousand dollars and you know that um two thousand dollars was to go back on the program or two thousand five hundred was supposed to go back on the program plus i had to pay my school fee so all of that was like I mean, I really get, I mean, I, like I saw my profit and stuff like that but the money was was not as enough so that I can sustain myself and to be honest 1 million Jamaican dollars isn't, is, isn't much right now but it's a start so you are going to make that right be realistic in your first year you can make it um, but you still have to be realistic on no where you're going you're not new to the environment and you have to keep up the stamina you know so yeah i drink i make sure i have my protein shake i make sure i had my um vitamins and supplements i need to take these yes you're going to eat you can consume all of that through your diet but sometimes you're just going to be on fast food right um the thing i love about um the us is that you can have you can get everything a lot of things are cheap over there i did buy sweet corn for kill like the regular corns but they are sweet so like me me not follow nobody the first year on work and travel i did not buy a phone 
I did not buy a phone and I hardly bought any clothes or stuff like that. I bought a laptop because I needed one for school and stuff like that. So you have to know what you want when you're going on work and travel. But me, I tell you, say, you can make the money. And the worst is Corona time. And remember, something came out on the Observer the other day that they need more Jamaicans or more slots are opening up. Open, opening up due to like Ukraine, some other countries worldwide. Um, a lot of persons are not participating on the program plus also the corona stop all of that also so you are a lucky folks for you are a lucky set of folks i wish i could have booked, gone and work and travel right now because they may come to money and jamaica me would have go over right now me would have do housekeeping right now right through me would have do that for go power work and travel i make some money i come back at my yard and build my house me would have do that so i'm saying that you have an opportunity and just take it as it is and do your best on work and travel and know what you want use that money girl like i start teach about investments and business so make sure say on a start like you can go and work and travel and and create a career from that you can you can buy a bath and body works and come at your yard come sell it you can start ship look for shipping company and send them one bar like them they look at something there you can um just go over there and build a market like market yourself sometimes they'll request your employer will request you and you'll go back on self-placement and you'll get a lot of hours so so i am saying that this video is saying you can make that million dollar jamaican dollars or that jackpot you can hit the jackpot but you have to work for it and what i did was 18 hours up to 18 hours per day that means when you go home you only get i only i only shower once a day Uber power work and travel and shower two times a day. Well, for me, I did uh, when when I like when I go home in the evenings. So, alright, let me tell you how my day goes. So, um, I reach home like just at eleven thirty. When I reach home eleven thirty, I shower. When I shower, I go to my bed and wake up three forty them way there, and um, put on my clothes and go to Walmart. When I go to Walmart. I come back home. I used to come back home and then show up to go to my next job. But sometimes that never happened. Most times I go back home and show up, but sometimes that never happened. So if you want to carry your wipes and all of them something there so that you can I just pray and all of them hey, spray for kill. You have to ensure so you have all of them something. Them they something I sacrifice. I went and work and travel and let me tell you how it went. Like because I was working so much, my foot did swell like a ha um me did shape up and me i tell you the real stuff now and that is why me i say when you go up and work and travel persons don't know what you're going through me did shape up me have a dear so me know they sit in because i was working so much um me did legit shape up shape up me could walk one day because for one i was wearing a lot of tight clothes well not tight clothes like the pants and i was riding a lot and stuff like that so so that happen so you still have to make sure say your health your health is, is key also so when you go and work and travel it's like a sacrifice i when i went and work and travel i had uh, my my phone an alarm that wakes me up every morning for that 16 weeks and i count it down a kid in that every day say shade is just work and travel you will do well or some just like a motivational video because when even I, I went on the work and people will dislike you for no reason you'll have a bad day with bad customer and sometimes people will say it's like you going and work and travel sometimes people think that you're taking your their work like people who is over there will say why she wants so much hours or even them they look at something there people will look at you and and stay you understand so a lot of things you have to go through when you go and work and travel so that is why i'm saying make sure you have a plan going on work and travel make sure you know your set goal and make sure you're working towards it because work and travel is not easy but you can do well anywhere you are you can do well because for one if you're going to i think somebody said that they want to go to um 
Alaska and Alaska does really have a lot of jobs persons are getting second jobs already someone said that they, they're looking for persons at Alaska to do like a laundry work I know so when you fold up the clothes in laundry after work that's a lot of hours in the evening so I know that sometimes you'll go to different places and it's not as profitable as other places but you still can make your mark if you go to a hotel you can do overtime you can do front decks at night you can do housekeeping in the morning you can be pool boy in the evening you can run the clock red you understand you can work um in the dining area and stuff like that so you have to know what you want go and work and travel and be innovative do your thing don't watch no face when i was there doing housekeeping we had to empty um like rubbish in the skit and so on the bin nasty and dirty i had to clean toilets with that's messy and, and full of filth and all of them stuff there and my work my ass off and i'm like oh my word i can't wait every year on work and travel my legit cry to my mother my cry so i want to reach jamaica you see when you reach on the last lap of work and travel which is like the last five weeks of work and travel when your body done for and that is why i'll tell you that when you go and work and travel as you reach you start work as you reach you start work when you start when you reach um when you reach look look the job them and start work you don't care because when you start you're fresh so you can start working you see you're going to be worn down you're going to be worn out like the the last five weeks of five to three weeks of work and travel i saw you i go stay and i always come on here and do my lives they can watch my lives that is where i share most of these stuff my daddy and my jury and that is how i know about electrolytes like my body was 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 not functioning i wanted to go to work and all of that but as some of the um it's like i could work like i just a drop asleep i know about energy drink and stuff like that i had to buy an energy drink even one one of the days i had to buy energy drink and remember it's me shady where health freak well not really health freak but i love the healthy stuff and i don't like i don't believe in like energy drink i know it works but what it does to your body i don't like it right i like natural things that are that you produce it natural so all of them something there happened and i did it and i was successful and my make my money me eat my jackpot i may tell you say you can do it because what work and travel are for persons like us why you're watching my video is because you know say you want to make it you know say you're there you want to pay a school fee you want to be what at girl <laughs> i know you want something out of work and travel that is what i'm saying right so go for work and travel and make your money because you can all right so thank you so much for reaching the end of this video and if you watch all of the if you watch out the duration of the video just comment me a big good no like the video girl i one of the stars you see me tell my business you see me there i tell my business because i know what it feels because a lot of persons i've never met someone that actually tell me how much they make power work and travel and i did so Bye my beautifuls, bye my handsomes, let me know how it goes on work and travel and enjoy yourself. Don't forget to enjoy yourself and take the picture them and post up to when I went on work and travel, I'm kind of like secretive and stuff like that, but I actually regret that I didn't post as much. I went to New York, I didn't even take a picture in Times Square. So be yourself, take pictures, don't care when nobody have a say wanna work and travel take a picture them post pan social media you work your money you enjoy yourself in every little way do what you can and enjoy yourself in the little ways as possible when i was there i started speaking spanish with all the the, the spanish speaking um with the mexicans i met mexican friends we go we went out and going out <laughs> It's just like after work having a little drink or something. Not me spending and sprawling and spending half my money. Cause you know it's a girl and I stay them waiting. And I should do a budget video. I should definitely do a budget video. Because I'm good on budgeting. So yeah. So go and work and travel. Take a picture of them post it. I wish I did a lot of those because I would have a lot of memories. I do did I do um 
I do I did I did do all of that but I'm, I wasn't the person to post it and looking back now I should have done all of that so yeah enjoy yourself and work and travel um, on my days off I went shopping um, in the little hours I had I, I, I look and stuff and stuff like that so you, you don't even have to just look if it's your first time if your first time on work and travel buy the necessities right if it's a if it's not your first time you know what to do yeah but make sure when you reach a jamaica make sure if you're not get one thing from a video make sure you do you come at jamaica and you clear off your student loan make sure when you graduate you're not paying a student loan that is all i'm asking from you when you go up and work and travel and make your money, pay off your student loan. Because persons went on the work and travel program and, and still have student loan. So in every little way, make sure you're not in debt at the end of the season. Right? Right? So keep on posted. Oh, I have my WhatsApp group. I did make a second group. So I have a WhatsApp group. So the link is down below. If you're in the first group, that's fine. I made a new group for the for the persons because my the first group is full. So I made a new group and the link is down below, right? Remember to follow me on all my socials because when I'm MIA on YouTube, girl, you can find a girl over Instagram. So blow my Instagram and uh, TikTok as well. I'm on TikTok and all my socials will be linked in the description box down below. And also, you can comment and tell me what videos you would like me to post. And see you soon. I'll be posting all week this week. So, love you guys and all the best. Bye, my handsomes. Bye, my beautifuls. Bye.